Hey you guys, it's your girl T. And I want to come on here and talk about this really disturbing viral video. This video went viral a few days ago, but now there's an update on the story. So basically the story is coming from our second favorite state, trifling ass Texas. So what's going down in Texas, you ask? What's going down is that we have this 36 year old woman. Her name is Angela Adamerez. And basically in this video, you see her with her nine year old child. This little girl's in the car and the mother is pissed off because a little girl talked to her father. The mother and the father are going through a divorce and she feels like her daughter should not be talking to the father. And she's basically using her daughter as a pawn and she starts beating on this little girl, pulling her hair, cussing her out. This video is really, really disturbing. But now the video has gone from being viral to being turned over to the police. And now the father is also speaking out about the situation. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. A video of a Pecos woman hitting her nine-year-old daughter has gone viral. The father of the girl claims it's the mother's way of getting back at him for talking to his daughter after their split. News West 9's Roxana Rubio spoke to him and has the story. The officer recommended me not, not to look at it because to him it was graphic. Look at him and tell him why. 36-year-old Angela Armendariz was caught on camera hitting and cursing at her 9-year-old daughter. A warrant was issued for Angela's arrest after the video came to light. She was charged with injury to a child and bonded out the next day. I thought that at that time I was going to be strong enough to handle it. And so I, I, I watched it. I just, couldn't, I just couldn't believe what I was seeing, you know. Jesus says he and Angela are going through a divorce. When he visited his daughter at school, Angela got mad and took it out on the nine-year-old. Jesus says Angela has been abusive with her kids in the past, and he's tried reporting it, but there was never any evidence. And I've tried, and I've told them, you know, and they, they just, you know, it's in the best interest of a child to be with a mother. We tried to get a hold of Angela. I'm sorry, the person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. So we knocked on her front door. Still, no answer. Jesus says he's worried of what could have happened. A lot of kids get beat up and, and they get killed. And if my child was to go back with her, you think that behind closed doors, she, door, she's not going to beat her again. Reporting in Reeves County. A protective order was issued to Angela. CPS is evaluating how much traumatic stress the nine year old is going through. The girl is under her father's custody right now. Authorities say that investigation is ongoing. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. And to me, that news clip is just really, really disheartening. And the way that that daughter was like just sitting there cowering and fair and, you know, shaking and trying to get away from her mom's blows. You can tell that's not the first time that this mother has lost control and has beat on this child. I thank goodness that her aunties or whoever that was recorded this foolishness and put this online. That woman needs to be locked up. I'm not saying lock her up and throw away the key, but but she definitely needs to go to jail for what she did to her daughter. That is just beyond ridiculous. And as you guys know, I've gone through a divorce. It's not easy. It's very emotional. It's very depressing. You know, it, it, it takes a toll on you. But never once did I sit there and take it out on my kids and beat them. Because every time I looked at them, I seen their dad's features in them. You know, you don't do that. You know, I understand that you're upset and you're hurt because you're going through a divorce. That has nothing to do with your child. That child is 50% your child and 50% the father's child. And she has every right to talk to her father. And from what I see, the father seems like a really loving, caring man. And he wants custody of that little girl. And if the court system is smart, they will give the father full custody of that little girl. That little girl does not deserve to be with her mother. She does not deserve to be belittled and beaten on over a divorce situation. You know, that video just broke my heart. I don't even want to call that woman a mother because that's not how you talk to your child. It's not like this child is 15, 16, 17 years old. This is a nine-year-old little girl. You know, imagine you're sitting here crushing her self-esteem. You're sitting here beating on her and going off on her because she spoke to her father. Like, are you serious right now? Imagine if the shoe was on the other foot and the father was beating up on the daughter for speaking to the mother. You know, it makes no sense. She's calling her out on her name and just cursing at her. Like I said, I just hope to God that the courts see that video and they deem the father a better fit than this crazy ass mother. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation. Once again, coming from our second favorite state, trifling ass Texas. All right, deuces. 
Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.